a nigga boy, I don't know it to the belly for Why the look a boy, I don't know it to the Hello everybody and a uh, warm welcome to my channel Tarot by Isabella. I am very happy to see you here and I hope you all doing fine. Today's video will be a reading about the new illness that has been pushed on, on the people and I have had many many worried uh, viewers asking me the same question. What about this monkey illness? What is going on? Uh, is this something serious or will it cause um, a lot of suffering, lockdowns and so on? And to do this video I'm going to use my crystal ball, tarot cards, oracle cards and some dice. But before we begin, I must thank you all, you wonderful viewers, for all of your support to this channel. Uh, I read all of your mails and I'm sorry if I cannot answer them. There are a lot of mails and I try to do my best really. And without your support I would not find the inspiration and the strength to continue doing more videos. So I'm very very grateful. Well what about this new illness? Uh, it seems like it's a little bit of an IQ test. Uh, to see how many still buy uh, this um, propaganda being pushed on the people. And I can encourage people to read about this illness, try to read about this illness from different search engines, because certain search engines have um, their algorithms uh, focused on just a specific result and a specific answer. Uh, but this new monkey illness that causes um, blisters to come up from hands and all around the body, it's been around for quite a time, so it's really not something new. But suddenly this illness have decided to jump into the Western world because normally it exists in um, different countries in Africa. And according to uh, many scientific papers, it has, um, if you get it, there is a 99.9% .9 chance that you will survive it. Uh, and it's not really a deadly one, but they are really hyping up uh, this illness, saying there's a deadly variant that has uh, come into the Western world. And it's very difficult to, and it's very dangerous, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, it's difficult to con contract it because uh, you can get it. Uh, exposure to different bodily fluids, with the sexual intercourse, for example, uh, but also on dirty sheets and close contact. Uh, to a person that is infected. Uh, yeah, so it's not that easy to get it. But of course, the cure is there. And all the Western countries have already big supplies of treatment for this um, uh, new uh, monkey illness that have um, recently popped up and it's so dangerous so dangerous yeah and it's strange that in all these years that have existed around the 
different African countries and suddenly this time it decided to pop up in and become a deadly illness so-called deadly illness in, in the western world yeah uh, but uh, I will not go into deeply into this illness here um, because I'm not a medical person I don't have a medical uh, education but I can encourage you to read as much as you can about it and don't fall into the fear trap uh, what's more about this illness? Yeah, it comes up now when the world is very shaky. Big elections are coming up, presumed big elections in the USA. And they're really trying to make people focus on something else than the elephant in the room. Yeah. And also the conflicts in, in the East, uh, where NATO forces... Uh, really attack the country are so make people think about other things that yeah keep them in place mm. but uh, i'm gonna look into that monkey illness today and see what the crystal will have to say about it and then afterwards i'm gonna take some cards so let's start uh, first i need to concentrate for a few moments on my crystal ball and after that we're gonna see uh, if if I can find something there, if the universe has something to say. So just give me a few seconds and soon we start. For the monkey illness. I have to say monkey illness because yeah, uh, there are a lot of algorithms here on this channel too that could um, red flag this video. So let's call it a monkey illness. Glasses on, and let's see if I can find something. Yeah, and for those who are new to crystal ball reading, um, this crystal ball I use today, it's a quartz crystal ball. And the quartz crystal is very good on tuning to uh, certain energies. And it's like a, like a disc, parable disc, that catches the signals and transmitted further to me and when I see something in the crystal ball it could be pictures, short video clips, symbols I don't really know in advance uh, what I will see but uh, whatever I see I will try to explain it to you in the best way hmm? so let's see if you can see something here monkey illness Um, the first thing, well, this is also out there on different social platforms, that this monkey illness, uh, the symptoms, uh, looks a little bit like shingles. And, uh, in many of those treatments that was given to people the last, uh, last three years, uh, those treatments contained uh, some kind of uh, virus from monkeys and it could be that this virus is being activated I cannot say but uh, on the ingredients list of many of those treatments it says that it contains a certain monkey virus yeah. it could be also a side effect of that treatment that is beginning to show up especially in the western world mm. 
Okay, let's see what if we I can see something in the crystal pool. Yeah, uh, the media. I see them like sweaty and working hard and really pushing and really trying to uh, get the message out that this is so dangerous. That this you really have to uh, be afraid of this new illness. Oh my God! It's so horrible. It's so horrible. Um. And they really will work hard to push the message out to scare the people. Um, but they could choose another kind of illness because this monkey illness is really for monkeys. And um, people will not, the majority of the people will not buy this new illness. Of course they will be worried. Nobody wants to be covered in blisters and have fever and maybe get disfigured and so on. But as I said in the beginning, it's quite difficult to contract it if it's not through very close contact to a person that is infected. Mm. And a lot of experts will say this and will say that. But the difference, uh, the difference will be that other kind of experts will be able to also join the discussion publicly. So people will start to wonder what is going on here. Uh, I see it's a big possibility because they're showing one third. One third of the Western world's population will fall for the pushing of this monkey illness. And they will run to the places where they can get a treatment for the monkey illness. But a lot of people will say no. And at the end, this will continue for like six weeks. And then they'll see that there is, they cannot push it any longer because people don't want the treatment. And I see um, like big storage rooms filled with the treatment and it being thrown away because nobody wants it. Suddenly, from nowhere, I see the leader of the um, European Union. Let's call this leader Urkula. Mm -hmm. uh, her name is different, but I call her Urkula. Uh, she will disappear. And it comes, it shows me like here. He, he, she's gone. And it will be, could be September, October, latest November. She's gone. And due to treatments that she has been buying and selling and so on, her involvement in treatments in Europe. Big, big, big dirty stuff is coming up quite soon. It's, it's here for Sweden, really. Uh, I see a factory that make pharmaceuticals. It's going to burn down. Mm. But I also see another factory in, I don't know if it's in Spain or in France, could be somewhere close to the border, will also burn down. Before this monkey illness is, the hype of the monkey illness is over, they will try to push another kind of illness. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's like they are getting very low, they are lacking uh, new illnesses to push on people. Yeah. 
if they were able to, and I get it very strong here, they would gladly release a very, very dangerous illness like the plague or an, uh, I don't know if it's anthrax it's called, uh, or another kind of very, very dangerous disease. Uh, but it, they have been stopped from doing so. Uh, I see some good forces have mixed in and cut those possibilities. So now the little that is left, they're trying to push um, yeah, all kind of animal diseases. Mm. And as I said, about one third of the population in the Western world are beyond saving because they are so, so much in a slave mind, they cannot think for themselves, they are so e easily affected from propaganda and brainwashed and so on and they will certainly buy anything that the television or the paid newspapers tell them <laughs> it looks like time is very difficult to predict on uh, can I don't really want to give time it's more things you see in crystal ball and cards are more event based but could be before this year ends or slightly after this year ends the truth about all these man-made diseases uh, and cures that are often worse than the diseases uh, will come out to the public and it will be quite shocking for many. Even those who know about things that goes on, they will also be shocked. Here I see uh, some kind of, I don't know if it's cosmic radiation or cosmic energy or something that comes from outer space. And it's symbolically, it looks like it's raining down on Earth, going through the atmosphere, uh, like light particles of some kind. Yeah. and touching the ground and touching the living organism on planet earth people animals plants and so on and these are some kind of antidote or healing particles difficult to say uh, some kind of cleansing yeah stuff um, that is being poured out on the planet. Something that will neutralize a lot of toxins. Mm. And will help people to get their strength back. Heal the planet. Well, this is a video about monkey illness, but when I see things in the crystal ball, sometimes they want to say other things. So the cosmic battle between good and evil, um, our galactic friends from other planets or dimensions, their involvement in what is going on here on Earth will be more and more official more and more for people to see 
more strange phenomena on the sky uh, will come up and will be reported from all around our planet and it cannot be ignored or said, oh, it's some CGI or something else. No, they are true event, and big motherships will be seen. But this monkey illness, I see it go in a peak and then it comes down, so it will not really affect. And the people, a couple of cases here and a couple of cases there. Um, a lot of shingles will be mistaken for a monkey illness, mm. but it's another kind of virus, similar but another kind of virus. Okay, now let's take some cards on this monkey illness and say and see what the cards have to say. As I said, I have to say monkey illness, not the real name, so I can keep my channel here. And finally, some dice. Well, the cards, they look like this. Let's see what we got here. In the tarot cards, we have Four of Swords, Knight of Coins, Five of Cups, King of Coins, and the Star. On the Oracle cards, we have Compensation, Perseverance, Perse Perseverance Key, Believe in Magic, a beautiful lady and voyage. On the dice we have slowly a crown and an X hacking a piece of wood. Well this monkey illness well it exists and there will be cases of people getting ill. Mm -hmm. But I don't see it like expanding around the globe or being some big new dangerous um, illness that will force countries into lockdown. Um, people are waking up, even if it has been slowly and uh, they have the key for knowledge. So the door to knowledge will be opened and people will be able to see who and what lies behind this. And in the center we have a crown, we have five of cups and believe in magic. So it seems like 
those behind this, those that are pulling the strings around all this kind of illnesses, uh, they will lose. Mm -hmm. Even if it doesn't look like that at the moment, and a lot of people are really scared and desperate. How will this end? And oh, is this not this illness? Then it's some other variant or whatever. It's something all the time, all the time. So nobody really have the possibility to relax or heal themselves. We are bombarded with uh, new horrible things all the time. And it really will be felt like magic when that pressure disappears, because it will disappear. And those responsible behind all this fear mongering, they will also disappear. We are entering a, a new world, a new world where beauty and um, what you wish for, you can obtain is possible and it will um, open up for new journeys, uh, journeys for, uh, for humans mm. and those who are working on the good side for humanity they are digging digging and digging and digging out all the dirt so we uh, the people can start to live a good life. We are not there yet, but this is where we are heading. And as I said from the crystal ball, some interference from our galactic friends, from our allies, from other dimensions and planets will be revealed. And how they journeyed it, how they helped us, this will also be revealed. And it will come help when we at least expect it. Help will come and balance up things for the better. The most important thing, we shall not lose hope and we shall not, we ought not to fall into fear and be paralyzed of, from fear and terror. And if we go in go in that direction, then um, those behind all this evilness uh, will feel that they have won and we cannot let them win. And we cannot rely all the time on help from somewhere else. Somewhere else. We have to stand up to and uh, uh, don't obey and don't bend down and uh, stand up and stand for what is right and don't be slaves to this um, kind of shadow governments yeah and we are always more and they are really afraid of us since a lot of us are waking up and waking up quickly but the good thing they will not win over us and this uh, monkey illness is, as I said, a little bit like an IQ test to see how many people uh, have seen through uh, what is going on or not. And as I said, I see so at least one third of the population still um, hypnotized by uh, the TV or the news. But the end result is very good and we will, the humanity will begin on a new journey. New journey uh, with miracles uh, that will feel like magic for this planet and for humanity in a good way. Well, that was my reading about the monkey illness. And to all of you wonderful viewers out there, I want to thank you so much for watching. And hopefully we're going to see each other soon. Bye-bye.